Good morning, boys and girls. I hope your day's off to a wonderful start. Let's get to work, okay? So, yesterday was Monday. That means today is Tuesday and tomorrow will be Wednesday. Yesterday was the 6th, so today is the 7th and tomorrow will be the 8th of April. All together, the date is April 7th, 2020. It is Tuesday, and the short form of the day is 4-7-20. Got it? Good. Okay, let's do some counting. I'll hold this here. You count to 100 on your own. Pause the video now. Okay, let's count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Um, let's count by twos up to 20. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Just kidding, I meant 30. Okay, um, so yesterday in math we worked on counting by threes. Do you want to try that on the hundreds chart? Okay, let's do it. So we start at three and then we jump three, right? We're skip counting, so we're skipping three. So we start at three, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. You can practice that on your own if you would like. You can pause now, practice, skip counting by threes. All right, great job. Are you, oh wait, yes, I did the same thing yesterday. I forgot to talk about how many days we had been in school. I fixed it because I missed a day. We were at 144 on Friday, so I added one more to make 155, 145. So now we need to add one more for today, okay? So we just add one more one to the ones place. We're working on making another 10, another group of 10. So it's not five anymore, it's six. We still have a group of 100, still have four groups of 10, but now we have six ones. So our total days in school is 146. Sorry I missed that yesterday, my mistake. But are you ready for your morning math problem? Good. I want you to make sure you pay attention to the sign so you know what operation to do. Okay. There it is. I hope you have your paper and pencil out. Write this problem down and get to work on it. You can pause the video and come back when you're ready. Okay, let's get to work on it. Marker. Where do we start when we do math? All the way to the right in the ones place, right? So here's the ones place. We have a six and a three and what operation are we using? Subtraction. There's a minus sign that tells us to use subtraction. So six take away three. Six take away three. What is it? Three. Very good. Five take away three. What's five take away three? Two. And on to the hundreds place. Four take away two. Four take away two. What's left? Two. And our answer is 223. Is that what you got? If not, just fix it. We'll do another one tomorrow. Okay, we have some more work to do in math, so let's head over there. Okay, so today we are on lesson 9-5, and we are counting forward from any number up to 20. Okay, so here are the directions for the solvent chair. It says, 
put 12 counters on the double 10 frame. Write the number to tell how many. Put one more counter on the double 10 frame and then write the number. Repeat using one more counter. What do you notice about the numbers? Do they get larger or smaller as you count? I think you probably already know the answer, but let's go ahead and check it out. We're going to use counters, and it says for us to put 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. A full 10 frame and 2 more is 12. So it wants us to write the number where we start. The next part of their directions, oops, say put one more counter on the double 10 frame. I'm going to go ahead and use a different color just to show that we're adding one more. So there's one more. If we had 12 before, one more makes what? 13. Very good. A 1 and a 3. Okay. And then the directions say to repeat using one more counter. We'll add one more. So we had 12, then we added one more and that was 13. Now we add one more. How many is that? 14. Very good. All we're doing today is counting on something you're very, very familiar with. So let's keep going. Great, okay, it says, have students find the blue number on the number chart. Count forward until they reach the stop sign. Then write each number they counted. Okay, so we're gonna start at 15. Ignore this, because that was from visual learning, which we're not going to do today. So we're starting here. It says to start at the blue number on the number chart. The blue number is 15, so there it is. And we're going to count forward until we reach the stop sign. So if we start at 15, then we go to 16, 17, 18, 19, and the stop sign is on 20, right? So we're going to write each number. We started at 15, then there was 16, then 17, then 18, then 19, and 20. So we forgot to talk about it on the solve and share, but what are the numbers doing? Are they getting bigger or are they getting smaller? They're getting bigger by one, right? Every time you count a new number, it grows by one. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we're doing the same thing here. It says have students find the blue number on the number chart and count forward until they reach the stop sign, then write each number they counted. Okay, on number two, we are starting at the blue number, which is the number three. There it is for us. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight is the stop sign, okay? So we're just going to write the numbers we counted. Started at 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, then 8. Great job. Okay, number 3. We're starting at 11 this time. Do you think we could just go ahead and start writing them? I think we could. 11... Then comes 12, then 13, then 14, Oops. then 15. So our stop sign must be on the number 16, right? Let's check. Yep, that's a 16. Great job. Okay, number four, we're going to do the same thing. We're starting at 13. We're going to count on 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17. And our stop sign must be on 18. Is it? Yes, it is. Good job. Move on. Last page, it looks a little bit different. Let's see what number five says. It says, have students start at the blue number and count forward, then write each number they counted. Have students use the number chart at the top of the page if needed. Do you think we need it? Probably not. So let's go ahead and do five, six, and seven on our own. Number five starts with the number seven, then there's eight, then nine, then 10, oh, goodness, then 11, and 12. Awesome. Okay, start at number, start number six at the number 10. What comes after 10? 11. Good. Then 12. then 13, then 14, then 15. I hope that your handwriting is much neater than mine. I hope that you're starting all of your numbers from the top and that they reach the top line to the bottom line. They're all tall. Okay, number seven. We're starting with the number 12. Then comes 13, and one more is 14, and one more is 15, and one more is 16, and one more is 17. Very good. Okay. Eight is a little bit different. So on your paper, whether you have the worksheets or not, or you just are working on your own paper, it says for you to pick your own number between one and 15 and write it on the first line. Choose whatever number you like from one to 15. Okay, go ahead and do that now. I think I will start with nine. That's gonna be mine. Then you need to count forward and write each number you count. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, And 14. That was so easy, wasn't it? You're very good at counting on. We've been working on that all year. So this should have been a breeze. All right, we're done with math. Let's go get to work on phonics. All right, let's get to work on phonics. The first thing we do is tap out words. Very good. The first word is chart. What's the word? Chart. Fingers up. Ch, R, T, chart. How many sounds? Three sounds. Arms with it. Ch, R, T, chart. Very good. The next word is steep. What's the word? Steep. Fingers up. S, T, E, P, steep. How many sounds? Four sounds. Arms sweep it. S, T, E, P, steep. Great work. The next word is crowd. What's the word? Crowd. Fingers up. K -r -ow -d. Crowd. How many sounds? Four sounds. Arm sweep it. K -r -ow -d. Crowd. Good job. The next word is standing. What's the word? Standing. Fingers up. St -a -n -d -e -n -g. Standing. Wow, that's a lot of sounds. Arm sweep it. St -a -n -d 
E N G. Standing. Great job. You could totally spell it if you wanted to. The next word is photo. What's the word? Photo. Fingers up. O T O. How many sounds? Four sounds. Arm sweep it. O T O. Photo. Great job. Okay, let's get to work on these digraphs. We're not going to do letter names and sounds today, but maybe on Thursday. Okay, here we go. J. Z. Ed. D. Or. T. W. N. Qu. N. G. Er, g, and n. Good job. Ready for vowel teams, our controlled vowels, variant vowels, and what was that we learned yesterday? Diphthongs. Say it with me. Diphthongs. Good job. Okay, here we go. E or I. A. Ah, uh, a, e, e, a, a, o, u or u, or, er, oi, ow or o, er, e, a, i. A, O, U or U, Er, Er, A, R, U or U, U or U, Oi, E, and I. Good job. All right, we're ready to work on our sight words. Let's do a small stack of our kinder sight words and then we'll move on to that stack of first grade sight words that we're working on. The, new, off, say, do, buy, be, like, some, but, from, how, all, is, came, play, saw, ate, now, where, will, day, many, no, Show, here, they, only, make, and four. Great job. Let's move on to those first grade words. Here we go. Run, but, one, this is like the number one. Take, jump, must, give, small, fun, bus, eat, put, there's a repeat, us, and sun. Great job. Let's go ahead and move on over to the smart board. Okay, let's get to work on reading some words. Um, today we're working on some words that have the oi and oo sound, okay? So let's get to work. Here we go. S -p oi o spoil. Good. Oot, scoot, b, 
er, oi, ol, broil, b, n, t, boot, ch, oi, and remember the C-E usually makes the C say the soft sound, so that's s, ch, oi, s, choice. Good job. E, n, p, o, oi, employ. Er, oi. And this, the A says a, ah, a, ah, o, royal. P, oi, n, t, point. N k spook. Good. Okay, on your own now. Think. Spoil. Think. Scoot. Think. Broil. Think. Boot. Think, choice, think, employ, think, royal, think, point, think, spook. Great job. Okay, we know these words. Let's read them nice and quick. Spoil. Scoot. Broil. Boot. Choice. Employ. Royal. Point. And spook. Great job. Let's read these words in some sentences. The, think, boy, was, this is a popcorn word here, very, think, spoiled, see the ed at the end? On this word it just says d, spoiled. The boy was very 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 spoiled. One last time. The boy was very spoiled. Great job. Next sentence. Here we go. This is a popcorn word here and it has that uh sound. Could you think? Scoot. Popcorn word. Your Think. Boots. Think. That's a long O there. Over. Could you scoot your boots over? Could you scoot your boots over? Could you scoot your boots over? Boots over? Okay. Let's swoop this sentence. Could you scoot your boots over? Could you scoot your boots over? Could you scoot your boots over? Great work on that. Okay, let's go write some words. All right, let's write some words. All of the words here are going to have the mm sound in them. So it could be the OO or the OU, and I'll help you with that, okay? I'll give you the fir the sound first, and then you write the letter or letters for that sound, and we'll make a word, okay? The first sound in the first word, so you're all the way at the top, all the way to the left. The first sound is n. Mm. The next sound is m. Mm. I'll tell you that this word has the u that is the same letter, two letters that are the same and they say mm. 
And the last sound is n. Mm. Got it? Okay. What is the word? Moon. Very good. Let's write it together. The first sound I gave you was n. Mm. That's an M. The next sound I gave you was N. Mm. And I said they are the same letter. And they say, they, they are O-O. Oh, oh. And the last sound was N. Mm. Moon. Very good. Okay. Below the word moon, the first sound is R. Just one letter. The next sound is ooh, just like in moon. Ooh, just like in moon. And the last sound is f, just one letter. Okay, what's the word? Roof. Good. Let's write it together. The first sound I gave you was er, and I said it was one letter. R. And then I said the next sound was ooh, just like in moon, and moon has the O, oh, O. Oh. And the last sound is just one letter, F. Roof. Very good. Okay. Below the word roof, here we go. The first sound is S. The next sound is OO, but not this one, the other one. They are different letters but they are two vowels. And the last sound is p. Got it? What's the word? Soup. Very good. Let's write it together. The first sound was s. The next sound was oo, and I said it's not this one. It's the other one. Two vowels, but they're different vowels. What are they? O-U. And the last sound was p. Soup. Very good. Okay. Let's go to the, the other side of our paper. All the way at the top. The first word, I'm going to give you the word. We'll tap it out. Then you write it, and I will give you a hint about the ooh, okay? The word is youth. What's the word? Youth. Okay. Fingers up. Y. Yeah. Ooh. You. Only three sounds. Think about the word you. It's a popcorn word. Okay? So that's your hint for the ooh sound. Go ahead and write it now. Pause if you need to. Okay. Are you ready? Let's write it together. The first sound I hear is y. That's a y. And I said think about the, the word you. The popcorn word. How do we spell you. Why? O U. We use the O U to make the oo sound. Just like in youth. Very good. And the last one was T H. Youth. Let's count our sounds. Make sure they're all there. Yeah. Mm. One, two, three. Three sounds just like we said. Perfect. Okay. Below the word youth, the next word is group. What's the word? Group. Fingers up. G, er, oo, p. Group. Four sounds. Go ahead and write the word now. Group. Oh, do you need a hint on the oo? It's the same as in youth. Okay, are you ready to write it together? Okay. I hear a consonant blend at the beginning. I hear grr. What two letters? G-R. Ooh. And I said just like in youth, so O-U. And the last sound was Group. Okay, let's check how 
many sounds we have. Ready? G. Uh. One, two, three, four sounds, just like we said. There's the word group. Great job. Okay. The last word is broom. Broom. Fingers up. B. R. U. M. Broom. How many sounds? Four sounds. Okay. Go ahead and write it. You choose the oo that you think it is today on this word. All right. Ready? Broom. Let's write it together. I hear a consonant blend at the beginning of this one too. I hear brr. What two letters? BR. Then I hear the oo sound. Which one do you think it is? It's O O. Good. If you don't have O O, you can fix it now, no problem. And the last sound was M. Mm. M. Okay, let's make sure we have all our sounds, okay? B. R. U. M. Mm. One, two, three, four. Broom. Four sounds, just like we said. Great job. Okay, are you ready for your sentence? Okay, here it goes. She fed the youth group some soup. Lots of words that we've already written. The, most, the rest of them are mostly popcorn words, so you should be able to do this. Let's count our words. She fed the youth group some soup. Seven words today. Don't forget any of them. Double check your sentence and make sure you've got them all. Don't forget what you need at the beginning of your sentence and at the end, and don't forget finger spaces. Nice, neat handwriting, okay? Pause the video now and write, she fed the youth group some soup. All right, let's get to work on this sentence. She, that's the first word. We know how to spell she, that's a popcorn word, isn't it? But what does it need at the beginning? A capital, so we're gonna give it a capital S. Okay, she, S-H-E, fed, we can sound this out, it's a consonant, vowel, consonant word, e, d, she fed the, she fed the youth, there it is, just put it in our sentence. group. There it is there. I don't think I have enough room at the end there, so I'm going to start a new line, but that doesn't mean I'm starting a new sentence, so I don't give it a capital. This is still part of this sentence, okay? So we'll write the word group here. She fed the youth group some. That's a popcorn word, okay? How do we spell it? S-O-M-E. It's not spelled like it sounds. That's why it's a popcorn word. Some soup. We already wrote soup right there. Let's just put it at the end of our sentence. And what do we need to put at the end? A period. Good. Let's make sure we have all of our words. She fed the youth group some soup. We got a capital at the beginning. We got finger spaces. And we've got an ending mark. Oops. <laughs> and all of our words are there. Let's sweep this sentence. She fed the youth group some soup. She fed the youth group some soup. She fed the youth group some soup. Great writing today. You're getting good at that ooh sound. So let's go and read a book. Okay, so I'm using a new software that lets me put a video of myself 
in the screen of my computer so you can see my screen and you can see me and I thought it would be a great idea today to do um, our read aloud as one of the the books that we would read when we're doing um, reading groups because we don't have the chance to do that so what I want to do today here is read through the book with you you can read with me and we will do this just like we're reading in a reading group okay this book is called Curious George and the Newspapers. Okay, let's get started. George liked to ride his bike. He liked to work too. So George got a job. A boy gave him a bag of newspapers. Sounds like he's going to deliver some newspapers. George rode his bike down the street. He gave the newspapers to all the people. Then his bike hit a rock. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! His bike broke. George began to cry. Uh oh, he can't do his job if he doesn't have his bike. Then a man saw George. The man had a box of tools. He fixed the bike for George. Now George could finish his job. That was nice. But George did not finish his job. He forgot about it. Uh-oh. He rode his bike to a pond. He wanted to sail a boat. Well, that's nice, but he should probably finish his job first, right? So he made a boat out of a newspaper and put it in the pond. Then he made boats out of all the newspapers. George was very happy, but he never did finish his job. That was a good story. Silly George, he's always getting into some kind of trouble, isn't he? So it says, who is the main character in this book? Is it the man who helped him with his bike? No, it's George, of course. He's the main character. He's what the story is mostly about, right? Good. Where does the story happen? Well, I think it must happen in his town, right, where he lives, because if he's working there and he's delivering newspapers, he must be working in a place that's familiar to him and that is near his home, right? So what happens in the story? Well, first it talks about George liking to ride his bike, right? But he also then it says he also liked to work. And he wanted, he got, he gets a job delivering newspapers. But it goes okay for a little bit, but then his bike breaks, right? Luckily, a nice man helps him. But then what happens? He forgot to do his job. He just went to a pond and made newspapers about, and made newspaper boats out of all of the newspapers. I don't know, he might not be a very good worker in this story, right? Let's see what it says at the bottom. It says, write about it, text to text. Have you read another story about an animal who acts like a person? Draw a picture of that animal. Write sentences about your picture. You can do that if you'd like. Let's think. We've read so many stories. Do we know of a story that we've read that, um, and where there's an animal that acts like a person? Remember the book I read last week, Cat vs. Dog? where they, um, they kind of, they really act like people. <laughs> one's really organized, one's really messy. They split their room and they don't get along. It's kind of funny to see animals acting like people, isn't it? Go ahead and if you have a chance, write a, draw a picture of that animal or an animal you're thinking of. It could be a completely different book. And then um, write a little bit about it, okay? Great job today. 
So I hope you enjoyed that read aloud that we did together and I hope it felt kind of like doing reading groups at school again. Um, you can go back, rewind the video, read over it again with me as many times as you like. You know what would even be a good idea is if you mute the video, pause the video on each page, and then read it on your own. We read it together. You know the words. It's all stuff you can send out. You can do this. Practice, 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 right? It's going to make us great readers. Let me know what you think and see if we can do this a little bit more often. I really enjoyed it and it was really kind of cool how I was able to put the video into the screen like that. It worked out really well. Okay, great day of learning today. I'm so proud of you. You're working so hard. You're just doing so awesome. I love you so much and I miss you more than you'll ever know. I will see you in the morning. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.